Welcome back to Fox 8 News at Noon. You can see where eh, things are calming down a little bit. It was a little spritz and sprinkle out there earlier today, but Jen Harker says first pitch at uh, Progressive Field, 110. Should be about 56. Not bad, a little breezy. Things are drying out a little bit. And wait till this weekend, Steph. Woo! I can't, I, hey, I've been waiting. You're going to pull up the pink Cadillac, the convertible? You oh, yeah. I have no, no pink Cadillac, no Cadillac. <laughs> we need to get no one. No pink car. Yeah, I'd love one. <laughs> So, be cool. welcome back, folks. Record inflation is here, and we're all feeling the effects of it, whether it be at the grocery store or the gas pumps. Everything seems to be costing about 10 times what it should be. Yeah, no doubt, right? We're all saying inflation, so many things leading up to it, and we have our wonderful experts here to explain all of this and talking about your portfolio. Jim Lineweaver is a certified financial planner professional and also host of the Financial Quarterback here on Fox 8. Welcome. It's good to have you here with us today at yeah, noon. Thanks. Great to see you guys again. Thank you for coming today. So let's talk about uh, people's day-to-day -day finances. And, you yeah. know, we're seeing so much of this contribute into it. So um, let's talk about that. Let's get right out there. Well, obviously, it's inflation. And in March, uh, the CPI, the Consumer Price Index, year over year, which is how inflation is measured, was 8.5%. We haven't seen that wow. that high since 1981. And if we yeah. dial back the history, which I never liked history in high school or anything, right? But, yeah. Uh, but there's all, in my industry, it's very important. So you go back in the early 80s, what happened to interest rates? They got to up to north of 20%, remember? So we can't have that. That would be absolutely traumatic. So, But what we are seeing is that you mentioned food inflation, obviously mm -hmm. higher the bird flu, you know, didn't help. Right. You also had gas prices. They're up about almost 70% from just where they were a year ago. So we wow. have this period where we're measuring year over year what the price of goods are, and they're extremely high. The only good thing is that the Fed has already started, you know, raising rates back in March. Mm -hmm. They're meeting the first week in May, and then they're going to meet in June and July. So they took April off, but you're going to see some pretty serious <laughs> rate increases because when everything, whenever something gets too far out of whack, it always has to come back, and hopefully it's a soft landing, not a hard landing. Seems like you said yeah. year to year up 8.5%. It seems like with the gas prices up 60%, those numbers would be even higher. Right. Um, but what's the best advice you can give folks right now? Because people are freaking out. You know, It's like, oh, do I fill up my gas tank or do I get my medication? It, well, these are serious times. It really is, and life is about a balance, right? Mm -hmm. I think what's going to get us through this is because of COVID and there's so much pent-up demand that savings rates are are at an all-time high. So I think that will help carry the economy through the summer because you just had United and American Airlines and everything announced that bookings and everything are the highest they've ever seen, right? Wow. So I think what'll happen is in the next couple months, we're gonna start to see inflation peak. And then what'll happen is uh, people won't feel it though for, you know, several months, but as it starts to peak, what will end up happening is that will give us a little more reprieve year-over-year -year inflation because you're seeing housing prices in certain areas go down a little bit. Mortgage rates are over 5% right now, right? Sure. So, you know, when people were offering tons of cash over listing price, mm -hmm. that can't continue, mm -hmm. and that's, that could really lead to a hard break. So we're hoping that these raises in interest rates will cool the economy off a little bit, allow the manufacturing sector to catch up because that's also a cause for inflation because there's too much demand chasing few little goods. So how long do you think that's going to keep up? Because then I think a lot of people are worried saying, hey, my bag of chips is like only 25% in there and it costs more. Now companies are making more money because they're increasing their prices. But then they, they also have then the gas prices. So if those really come down and then they have more workers because we know we have worker shortage too. Yeah. So will these prices at the grocery store and the Will that really come down, do you think, eventually? And, it, and, it has, and right? How? Sooner or later. Yeah, well, or what, will what's will companies get comfortable saying, okay, well, now I guess I can charge $4 for that instead of $2.39? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what I think really concerns me. Did we just raise the bar to a point where we may not come ever back down? Well, if it never comes back, then it's going to break right? Yeah. It's going to be a much harder landing than a soft landing because when things get too far out of norm, they have to always come back to their mean or their average, right? Let's so hope. you're seeing wage inflation that it got very high. That or too. Companies yes. are squeezing their earnings right now and they're yeah. all reporting. So we're seeing that in people in the company's uh, stock prices, right? Because the market's been a, very volatile. Right. So what people can kind of do and as it relates to their portfolio. So if they have things that are dividend producing, because I'm not sure a lot of people realize, but if you go back nine 90 years in the S&P 500, 41% of the gains are from dividends that pay quarterly or monthly. Okay? Okay. So 
it can help get rid of some of these big highs and lows in your portfolio. But if you have been investing and now things are really tight, maybe instead of turning those dividends from reinvesting, you can turn them to send them to you for a little while, help you get through these tough times. Mm, that's Some people might be picking up a little bit of a part-time job mm -hmm. and doing different things to try to make ends meet. It's not an easy solution, but I think come fall, it will well, be in a much better situation for individuals and everybody else. Play that's cool and cautious right great now. Great take yes. home advice. Yeah. Wonderful yeah. that we can all use, that's yeah. for sure. Come on that's fall, great. but we don't want to forget about summer just yet. That's right. That's that's good stuff. Sure. As always. So <laughs> if you missed any of our You're conversation or uh, you want more information on how inflation is impacting millions of Americans, head to our website, fox8.com, and click on Scene on TV. And make sure you check out Jim Lineweaver, financial quarterback right here on Fox 8. Always a pleasure. And it Bye -bye. will get better. It will, yes. <laughs> Thank you.